We're now in the northern Ukrainian city of Chernihiv. It's about 40 odd kilometers from the border with Belarus. Russian soldiers had occupied various parts around the city of Chernihiv and had come in as well in some places. I'm now joined by someone who was actually here when the worst of the Russian attacks was taking place. Thank you for speaking to us. What did you see? During all, during all these days we are been there here in Chernigov, this place. То есть 24 февраля, когда началась бомбардировка всей территории Украины, мы находились здесь в городе Чернигове. Я со своей семьей, жена, сын и я. So on 24 of February, when this Russian invasion started, was airplanes and bombing, and during all this time, under the bomb, he with his wife and his son was here in the center of Чернигов. Если честно говоря. Тревога в душе и за своих знакомых, близких, родных. Естественно, война началась, это мы поняли сразу, потому что граница рядом, и до нас доходили сведения, что российская... To, to be honestly, to be honestly, it's very and absolutely, totally, totally scary about the war. Scary for his family, scary for his neighbors, his friends. And they understood immediately that the war has begun, because the border with Belarus is just a few kilometers from here. So they understood that the war has begun. Did the Russians come into Chernihiv? Они заходили, зашли? Нет, они в Чернигов не заходили, заходили. Я так думаю, что диверсионные группы какие-то были, но дальше они не прошли, потому что с ними по всей вероятности наши разбирались. Some small, some small of groups, some small groups of Russian has come to Chernihiv, but they was killed yeah. by Ukrainian forces. Yeah. Uh, but the all invasion was not come to Chernihiv because yeah. they were stopped by Ukrainian militaries yeah. just around the city. Yeah. How difficult was it to get food, water? Was there electricity? Было ли сложности с едой, с водой, с электричеством? Первое время после начала бомбардировок, я так думаю, где-то дней десять двенадцать были проблемы с электричеством, с водой, да и с питанием тоже. Но благодаря работе работе слаженной, я так думаю, нашей обл. администрации и городских властей. Сделали все для жителей города так, чтобы и была и вода, и электричество. Mm -hmm. Безусловно, электричество не постоянно, но исчезало, появлялось. Но тем не менее, тем не менее, спасибо нашим вооруженным силам. So uh, after the bombing attacks was started for 10, first 10 and 12 days, uh, there was no electricity, was no water, and uh, they fixed, uh, they just helping to the local administration and local authorities right. to fix this all. Okay. Well, there you have it. Uh, somebody over here in Chernihiv who's gone through the horror of the war. Yeah. This is an area which has now uh, been cleared out uh, of the Russians. This is where the Russians lost, uh, certainly in this entire Kiev, in the north of Kiev, not too far from Belarus is where we are presently. With Uma Shankar Singh and Ashok Mahale, Vishnu Shom for NDTV.